Hey guys, this is Kaylin. Um, so I this is my first video blog, my vlog, and so I'm just kind of trying to figure this whole thing out. And yeah, so I have a challenge for you and for me, and I'm trying to figure out if I can do a hundred and twenty-five days of different hairstyles. And I know I won't be able to get them all on the day that I have them in my hair, but I'll definitely get a picture of them, and then I can post them when I get a chance, which will usually be the next day, or since I'm going somewhere this summer on a trip, it'll be two weeks afterwards. But um, yeah, so hopefully you'll get a video at least once every other day, possibly every day, but I doubt it. And yeah, so right now I'm just wearing a simple bun, but my challenge doesn't officially start until the, let's see, May 2nd. And so yeah, hopefully you guys can join me in that. That would be fun. So yeah, so here we go. So we're going to do a three strand braid, a French braid, and a Dutch braid. So basically a three strand braid is just a normal braid, and then a French braid is when you add hair into it. And then Dutch braid is when you add hair into it, but do it upside down. And so yeah, let's get this started. Okay, so one of the first things you want to do is, if you have your hair up already, just take it down. And so I just have my hair up in a simple kind of half messy bun. So I just have to take out all of my bobby pins and hair binders and stuff. So... Yeah, so once you get it down, you want to brush it out really good, really, really well. And yeah, so then what you want to do is we're going to start out with the three strand braids. So just move all your hair to either one side or the back, and you want to gather it, and then you want to put it into three sections. So here's one two and three. So you want to take the front one and bring it over the middle one. And then take the back one and put it over the new middle one. So you kind of have one of these kind of things here. And then you want to bring this new front one and bring it over the middle one. And bring the back one and bring it over the middle one. And then you just keep doing that. And you just keep braiding all the way down. So front over the middle, back over the middle, front over the middle, back over the middle. And then once you get down to where you can't braid anymore, then you want to tie it off with a hair binder. So yeah, for me it's about three or four inches from the bottom, and just take like a small elastic hair binder like this, and put it on the end, and then you have a very simple three strand braid. So, then if you want to make it a little more of a casual kind of bohemian look, then you can pull the hair binder down a little bit. So just pull it down a little bit, so like that, so you have a little extra loose room. And then you want to take these pieces and loosen them up. Just kind of pull on them a little bit to loosen them up. And it kind of takes a little practice to get it to give kind of an effortless look. And then you have your finished braid. And there's a lot of little, because I have layers, I get a lot of different little flyaways. You can kind of just tuck them back in too, but some of them are so short that you can't, so you can just leave them out. And so yeah, here is a three strand braid. Okay, so now we're gonna do the French braid. So I'm gonna take about a three inch section of hair 
from about my temple and then I'm going to bring the front section back and then the back section forward and then as I'm bringing the front section back again I want to add some hair to it from the front and then just pull that back and then I'm going to take the back section and as I'm bringing that forward I'm going to add some hair to that and then you just continue like that for a while until you decide that you like the length of the braid so just as you're going just keep adding hair in so just keep adding hair in um, with each time you braid so you can kind of see how that's starting to look like a braid so you just keep adding hair and then you take the you put it over and you bring hair in and then you pull it over and see how it's kind of turning into kind of a braid right there I don't know if you can see that but yeah so that's what it should start looking like and then you just keep braiding as far as you want or if you want to bring it to the back of your head you can braid all the way back French braiding like this or you can bring it down into pigtails if you just keep French braiding down or if you want to if you don't want to spend all the time French braiding it you can just do a regular braid like I just showed you and just keep braiding normally till you get to the end of the hair so and now I'm getting extra hairs in so that's one thing you want to be careful of when you're doing this type of a thing is you don't want to grab lots of extra hairs that shouldn't be in here so I have a couple of those so just be careful that you're not adding extra hair that you shouldn't be like see right here I got hair that I shouldn't have but there's nothing I can do about it now so and if you do happen to get one of these things where you just add a bunch of extra hair and you can't get rid of it then you can actually put that underneath the rest of the braid and nobody will even know it's there so you just keep braiding all the way down to the bottom la di da di da and your braid might be shorter if you have shorter hair and you just keep braiding and braiding all the way down to the bottom until you can't braid anymore which for me is about like half an inch maybe an inch and then you add a little little tiny twist or a little tiny hair binder right down at the end and you kind of want to make it tight because if you made it tight like mine is see how it's super super tight then you don't want it to get really loose if you want it to keep its shape and see how because I have bangs so they stuck out here that's one thing if um, you want to hide that um, you just put it underneath the braid and so then what you can do is you can bobby pin it back so if I grab a bobby pin, I just bobby pin it to the back of my head, just like that. So yeah, and that is all. So that's just one simple hairstyle you could wear any day. And yeah, so this, remember these little hairs? So since I didn't get those covered up, I'm just going to take a bobby pin and I'm just going to bring them back 
and I'm just going to pretend like I'm bobby pinning the braid in place better from the top. And then nobody will even know that they're there. So that is a simple hairstyle that you could do. And it only takes about a minute or two. And it's a great summer hairstyle because it kind of keeps your bangs off your face. Or if you're growing your bangs out, that helps too. And so yeah, there's the simple French braid going to a regular braid in the back. Okay, so now I'm going to take this out. Have a little hair binder in here. I need to get out. And then we're just going to take the braid out. And now I can show you a Dutch braid. So for the Dutch braid, it's pretty similar. I'm actually going to start farther up because for me it seems to take longer to get it to look like a braid when I'm doing a Dutch braid. But what you want to do is you want to take three equal sections and except for instead of going over you want to go under so see how I brought this front one under the middle one and then you take the far one and you bring under the middle one again and then you want to take the next one and you bring it under and you add hair this time and then you take hair again and you add it to this section and you bring it under. And then I'm back to the front section, no, the front section again, and I add hair, and then I bring it under. So take hair from the side again, up here, and you add it to the other piece of hair, and then you bring it under. And then you take this piece of hair from the front and you add hair and you bring it under. And you just continue like that for a while until you decide you like it. And you can braid it as tight or as loose as you want. I kind of prefer tight, but that's just the way I braid. Some people prefer looser braids. This depends on if you're going for more of a kind of a formal type casual or a really casual look or a very soft look. So you just keep adding hair as you bring it under. And you go down as far as you want. But now you can kind of see how it's turning into like a it looks like a regular braid but it's actually like attached to your head. So you can do the same thing and just braid it regularly back or you can just kind of put in like a little ponytail here or you can braid it all the way down and leave it. It's really up to you how you want to style that. And yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching guys. Um, so yeah, so you can subscribe to my new channel. It's very exciting. Or um, I have a blog too at beauxchevo at blogspot.com and that's French so you might want to look that up. But it's B-E-A-U-X and then C-H-E-V-A C-H-E-V-E-A-U-X at blogspot.com So yeah, check it out. Subscribe. And yeah, see you guys later. Bye.